Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a version of the wolf cut I like to call the soft wolf cut. And we're going to start here checking out our hair and seeing what we got. We're going to go through a section off uh, an area in the nape. We're going to start with our feather plie razor because I want as much control over my cut line as possible. So we're going to start in the nape here from the occipital to the mastoid. This, this is going to be my perimeter length and the length of the overall cut. So we're going to start pulling everything straight down, taking a broad stroke with my razor, going back and forth since I'm in the middle. This is going to be my neutral, my most neutral section. So coming that straight down, getting my line cut, and then continuing on to the right side and then to the left side. So keeping a broad stroke because I want these, these pieces to separate. So the broader the stroke, the softer the end result is going to be and the more separation that I can create. So in the center, I'll cut from left to right in the middle. And then on the right, I'll cut from the inside, the center, towards the right side. On the left side, I'll cut from the inside towards the left side. That way I can keep my movement the same on both sides of the head. Just being patient and diligent to make sure I get my lengths similar on both sides. There we got a little bit longer there on the right side. So just whittling that down until I get this to where I feel like it's the length that I want and it's flowing like I want. Now we're going to move up the head. We're going to section from the drop crown to the top of the ears and we're going to comb everything down. We're going to follow our previously cut guide starting in the center and then working out towards the edges around the front. Again, just following our guide, using a broad stroke with the razor, then pinching off any little bits that hang out a little longer than I don't like, and then continuing the same methodology to cut my length throughout the entirety of the haircut. Here we'll take the rest of the hair, comb everything down, and anything that hangs over our original guide length will cut off. And you'll see I'm cutting from the interior towards the front. Same on both sides. Now we're going to start our face framing around the front. We're going to take a section from the first bump of the head down to the high point of the ear. Going to separate that in the middle. And I'm going to take my initial length that I want the shortest layer to be. That's going to be somewhere around her nose. And then we're going to start cutting down vertically straight up and down right in the center of her face. So I'm combing all the hair over into the middle of her face, holding the section vertically, and then cutting from my shortest guide length straight down. And I want to keep the same broad razor stroke so that I have a consistent amount of softness for the entirety of the haircut. So what really separates a wolf cut from a shag is that this section here on the wolf cut is completely disconnected from my overall length. So it does not have to blend to the length of the hair that I have in the back. And the less that it blends, the more edgy that the cut is. So you can go really, really short around the front and make it really stand out, or you can leave it softer and longer like I am, but it's still gonna disconnect from the back. So I'm visualizing where I want the hair to fall, and I'm thinking around the collarbone is where I want this front length to fall. So as I go through and get my initial cut in, I want to check and see how it's falling, see how it's flowing around the front, and then modify my approach as I need to. So I feel like that's a little solid around the fringe, around the bang area. So I'm going to go through and channel some sections just to relieve the weight and to help that hair to separate into pieces and to cut it a little shorter right into the center. So I'm just gonna take subsections, hold it forward, channel through, release the weight, and force it to separate. Perfect, once I feel like I've got that where I want it to fit, now where I want it to flow, I'll do the same thing on the other side. And this haircut, what really makes it interesting is the separation on the tips. And that's what makes any of these shag cuts interesting. And you have to use a razor to get that type of texture. So if you don't already follow us on YouTube, please click the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and also, you know, the notification bell to be notified of any future content that we come out with. Now we're going to continue 
that same section, which is her left side, we're going to pull everything forward. Now from here, I'm going to use my center piece right in the shortest part of her bang as my guide length that I'm starting from. And where I'm going to is the overall length that I created when I cut my first sections in the back. So this is going to be connected at the very center of my fringe, the center of the bangs, and then disconnected all the way down to my overall length. So the first section I undercut, and that's gonna pop out and force that to separate. The next section here is blending through to the guide length in the back. And here you can really see how I took that section. I took the high point of the head right down to the corner of the hairline and the nape. Using my short piece as my guide and then just completely visualizing cutting that short down into blend to my overall length. Work this all the way through until I get everything blended. Give us a follow on your favorite social media at Jatai Feather. Now we're going to start on some layering. I'm going to pull a center section, pull that straight up towards the ceiling using my shortest piece as a guide in the front where I cut my bangs. I'm going to cut that straight back. So anything that hangs over that length, we're going to pull straight up and cut off. We're going to razor that with a similar stroke that we were using for our overall length and for our layering around the front. Now, if I feel like the hair is really, really long, I can certainly change the angle of my layering on the top. But here I'm just going straight horizontally across as I pull everything straight up towards the ceiling. Now we're going to pivot our section from the high point of the head now we're going to pivot from the high point of the head around to the right side of the head and we're going to make a pie section. And as we start to pivot, I'm going to hold everything into the center of the original cut guide and the new cut guide and then use that as a guide length and razor that throughout so that I get a layering blend from short to long. And here I just continue to pull everything straight up. By over directing everything straight up or at a much higher elevation, that's going to relieve a lot more weight than if I was to pull it out at 90 degrees head shape all the way down the back of the head. So here we're going to pivot to my next section. There's my short piece as my guide. We're going to pull that up, razor that out and through. Now, if you're not comfortable using a feather plie razor or a guard less razor, then you can certainly go through and start doing this layering technique with the feather styling razor because it has a guard built into it. So it's a lot less likely that you're going to cut yourself. Here we're going to pull everything back. You see there's not anything that's really going to blend because we've cut all this around the front. So everything's good. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side after I check that my layering is nice and even throughout. I'm liking the way that that's looking. So now let's blow it dry. So I'll start by just pulling everything forward to get the bangs kind of back. I'm going to power dry it, make it real neutral, and then just go through and do a little round brushing to make sure everything is smooth and nice and got a little bit of bend to it. And here's our end result. And I think we've got a nice, good amount of layering into the back. It's nice and full. We've got separation throughout. And also check out the Jatai Academy. There's a lot of really great information on there that'll make you a better hairstylist or a better barber. You can really see the disconnection from the front to the back here. I think it looks pretty good. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Yeah.